basically got the call Wednesday night to go down to Houston. It took us about 20, 21 hours. We were there primarily to clear the shelters of animals that were already there so that they would be able to fill them with displaced animals. Well, this little black lab mix puppy, she just came from Houston. She has an upper respiratory infection, which is why she needs a little bit of a medical foster before she goes home. Ready? This is Penelope, and you can see she's in some bad condition with her skin. So it could have been an injury. But you can see her temperament is awesome. Ready, honey? This one was given up after the flood, and you can see by his nails, not really cared for that well. We want to get her into medical right away, and I'm sure. Are you hungry, baby? Yeah. 17 hours, almost no barking. They were so sweet. I think they know. I think they know that they're being rescued. This is a mom and her four babies that we found in Houston. She has heartworm as well as she's super underweight and malnourished. We're real happy to have her here where we can nurse her back to health. Paws Chicago was uniquely positioned to help the animals at Hurricane Harvey because we have a phenomenal following of volunteers. In addition, we have the medical center, which we could bring animals back and regardless of their condition, they could be treated. Not many shelters have that. Houston and Chicago have similar populations. They are still bringing in 2,500 animals a month. That's what Chicago was bringing in at their animal control when we started PAWS. In 1997, out of 28,000 animals at animal care and control, 26,000 were euthanized. In 2016, out of 13,000 animals, 3,000 were euthanized. We have invested tens of millions of dollars in spay neuter that greatly reduces the number of animals entering shelters. The very first time I went to Animal Care and Control, I saw just so many beautiful animals being dragged down the hall, going into the gas chamber. From that day on, I said to myself, I'll never rest a night until I see progress in this area and for people to know what I saw. After we opened our spay neuter clinic, which was the most important thing we've ever done, we opened the Adoption Center in Lincoln Park. Since then, we've opened up Adoption Center in Highland Park. People will come into Highland Park and go, you know, I never realized homeless animals were so cute. Homeless animals in Chicago have come a long way, but we still have more to do. The hardest thing for us is leaving animals behind because our medical center is full. Animals who we could have treated if we had the space. We want to build the largest no-kill medical center in the country. The medical facility will allow us to take in three times as many animals as we're taking in now. We will treat every illness that comes in. Even if they have parvo, distemper, we will save them. Oftentimes, animals that get sick are the most sensitive and the sweetest animals. They've been through heartbreak, losing families, the emotional trauma and stress. So it's really wonderful for us to be able to grab those guys and just give them the love and the good care and, and get really great families. Our dream to build this medical center can only happen with the community. That's how we've done it every step of the way at PAWS and that's our, this is our next step because that's ultimately who saves these animals. It's all the people who love animals.